Thank you for listening and welcome to the Life Podcast, a proud member of the Eventide Entertainment Podcast Network. I'm your host, Don Smith. Nate Washington is in as guest co-host this week, and we talk to Jess Cordry. We promote a show we can't talk about. Afterward, a vibrator orders us a pizza. If you enjoy the show, like and follow The Life 106.9 on Facebook and Don Smith Comedy on Twitter. Or tune in live on Wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m. on WWSU 106.9 FM. Or you can stream the show live at WWSU1069.org. The brutal presence overwhelms me. The brutal presence overwhelms me. All right, it is Wednesday. It is noon. It is time for the Life Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith. Uh, thanks for tuning in. For those of you tuning in, uh, it's spring break here at Wright State, so uh, we don't have uh, we don't have people walking down the hallways, so we won't get a lot of reactions today. So you can put your shirt back on, Jess. We- <laughs> well, well, that was for the young kids. I was, they're like ten year olds. I was hey, like, be careful. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> according to Amber's law, I have to let. Oh, never. <laughs> uh, Jess Cordry is a guest on the show today, and uh, Nate Washington has come in as guest co host, so he'll be with us for the entire two hours. I sure will. How we doing? We're we're doing good. We're doing Great, good thanks. so far. So far, it's it's early yet. The show just started, so it's it's usually hard to tell well, what direction it's going to go. It's <laughs> plenty time for it to go off the rails. Then. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I guarantee you, it will at some point. There was, <laughs> or or I don't even know what show I'm on. If it doesn't go on off the rails, I don't even know what the hell I am <laughs> doing. So anyway, it's uh, it's been a it's been a busy week. A lot of things going on. I don't know what half of them are because I've uh, I've just been sleepwalking through most of my most of my days anymore. But uh, actually, we had, had had several cancellations for the show this week. Last minute, a couple days ago, I tried to scramble to get somebody in. Got Scotty Mays. He called in sick today, so Scotty had to, had to scramble. Had like three hours to find people. I wonder if he was at like hair product. What's that? I he wonder if he was out was. of hair product. That's probably what it was. Yeah, yeah his, his uh, mohawk went limp, and he didn't want to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> Not the only thing going limp. He was feeling insecure. <laughs> we love you, Scotty. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Get get better. Uh, we'll get you back in some other time. Because I mean, you're you're one of you're one of my most frequent guests. I think so. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely. It, he's he's a last. He's one I call last minute. <laughs> like like I did this week, oh, yeah, and he canceled on me last minute. So this, I guess he's paying me back for always getting a hold of him last yep. minute. <laughs> That's what happens? Yep, yep. So uh, Jess, what what's been going on with you? Oh no, what's been going on with me? I'm, a lot. Uh, I I lost weight. And then I gained it back. So I mean, well, that's my weight stayed well, the same. Yeah. It's it's good to keep it keep it even. You yeah. have to find balance. Yeah, you know, I I've been I've been eating a tremendous amount of gravy. I tried an all gravy diet. Really? Yes. That nice. Work? Kind of... Not very effective. <laughs> <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Yeah. I've been uh, doing some stand-up. I did last, I think, November in Columbus, and uh, kind of just been hanging out. Yeah. Uh, found a new job with DCS Technologies. I want to let them know thank you for the employment. Cool. That and I'm familiar. really at lunch right now. Oh, okay. You're at the... <laughs> That's good. That's yeah. good. I'm glad you spent your lunch hour with us. Yes. I'm definitely. here because I was fired this week. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. I See, keep I keep trying to be. Well, but. well here's the thing. Uh, those detox drinks don't work. Oh, so, yeah. No, they, I've, uh, <laughs> and I, I am here to tell you that they do not work. Yeah, but what, what works better is, is the fake stuff. Yeah. The, 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 the fake fake urine. You just have to warm it up right because, you know, they... Uh, they I've heard. I've never, I mean. Well, you, <laughs> let, let me say this. Let me say this about this particular uh, instance, because I've heard about the synthetics and things like that. Well, at this particular uh, place, they actually want to watch and see. Uh, they want to see you fill the cup is what I'm trying to say. So That's kind of creepy. So, yeah. I don't think I could even go with somebody watching. Well, you know, here's the thing. Like, because I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> I told, I said, look, if if it's gonna be weird for me, it's gonna have to be weird for you too. So I asked him. I said, how much eye contact? And I stared at him the whole the whole time. <laughs> that, the whole time. Yeah, why not? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's it's gonna, gonna be weird to be for both there, of us. Yeah. Well, how did you know when the cup was full if you're staring at them the whole time? Oh, well, he well Splash. he was close enough. He snatched it yeah. out of my hand when it was full. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's a bad idea yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. 
splash factor is what I was going to say. You always got you you. You got to fill enough cups to know when that splash hits you. We're just right; it's full. Oh, he knew because that that splash was green and smoking. So, so he knew. He knew. It's like I'm not even going to test. This. He knew immediately. Yeah. In fact, just smelling it, I'm a little buzzed. <laughs> he he knew immediately. So yeah, I don't work there anymore. Well, but that uh, was the part time gig anyway. So. Well, if they're wanting to watch you pee all the time, I probably wouldn't want to work there. Either. Yeah, you know, it's That'd like, be... come on, man. If I let you watch me pee, can I keep my job, yeah. please? <laughs> yeah, that's like, if do we have to do this, sir? Yeah. Are you the only one they do that they, that Just they watch? Me. Just me. Well, you should feel flattered somewhat. I'm, <laughs> I'm frightened. <laughs> <laughs> See, off the rails already. All right. I was thinking it must be like a baby's arm holding an apple if everyone mm. wants to watch it. Yeah. Sir, <laughs> if, I, if I let you watch yeah. me go, can I keep my job, please? Yeah, but, yeah, that, the guy watching is just like uh, what that guy off of that CSI Miami takes his sunglasses off and goes, that's magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> I have never seen anything quite like that. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Yeah, flattery will get you Now everywhere. I see where he's, why he's wearing long pants <laughs> with no holes. No choice. Yeah. <laughs> I have no choice. I have no choice. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Well, it's so good to have you on the show. Now. Hey, it's fun. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh. But anyway, what, what were we talking about before we got off on it? Because you, you started a new job? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's what yes. we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Gainfully employed. <laughs> <laughs> Gamefully employed, and you know, I, I I get to keep my clothes on. Big plus. That's always good. Nobody yeah. watching you pee. Yeah, well, if, at first, but you yeah. know, I no matter I, how, no matter how much <laughs> you pay. Yeah, I got two kids. Somebody's always watching well, me yeah. watch me pee. It's like, oh, <laughs> no, it's old hat. Dad, no, what is it? Dad, yeah. is that a man? And it's no, like, we, we are showmen. So yeah, you know, yeah. we, if we can get up and if we can get up and do stand up oh. comedy. We should be you able can go to pee for a guy. Yeah, exactly. You, you can do exactly. It. That's, that's true. I, when you were saying get up, I thought you were going a whole different direction. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I'm glad you kept it where it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't yeah. want to go too far. No. On, no. You know, no. We are on the air. <laughs> Understood. And probably getting several letters already, <laughs> most of which is fan mail for Nate at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Cause they, they want to get on his Instagram and see. <laughs> can, you, can you mention your Twitter handle, by the way? Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah at, at Thorny Badlands. Make sure you give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, Phew. let's try to bring this thing back okay, under okay. control. Where, right. we go? Where are we going? <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Fight Club. There is a new mic in town. A new mic. Run by Nate Washington. Comedy Fight Club. That's well. That's the. Uh, I have some information here. It's a uh, Ohio Chiefs at eleven twenty four Leo Street. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. Really? No. Uh, I've uh, first Wednesday of every month. Is nope. it going to because it's going we're going to start uh, March seventh. No, can't say I'm familiar with that. Uh, well, I, ha- I have here that you're going. Uh, Jay Snyder is going to be headlining the first one, which ought to be fantastic. And the sign-ups, if you want stage time on that, or it's a 730 for Comedy Fight Club. And uh, can you tell us anything about that? Or uh, I, I don't even know what that is, sir. So it's um, – uh, I've, I've heard rumors about it. There's uh, – I got nothing. I mean, I'm thinking, wow. I mean, it's like, it's like uh, huh. Huh. No. Because there's uh, – it, it'd be it'd be cool to have something like that as like a as like a training ground. Oh know? yeah, because yeah. what well what happens is you have these uh, comics that go up at like Wiley's for the Sunday comics all the time, and they get they get used to that crowd and that audience where that's we his, try to. That's a great room, actually. It, it is. It's it's mm-hmm. it's a great room, and we we try to kind of keep people from talking to the you know distracting the comics and heckling and stuff like that because it makes it tough, and a lot of times you have first timers and. Mm-hmm. Even some of the newer guys that have been doing it for a while, they get. I know. I know. I get flustered when I got a heckler. Mm-hmm. And, it can uh, be very uh, disheartening at times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, we need a training ground kind of thing. You know, if where, there was something like that, I, I I think it would be pretty awesome. It would be something I can get into. But yeah. I've never heard well, of it. The chapter's gone now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Murray's don't doesn't do shows anymore. Which Murray's was pretty good. <laughs> 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 flashbacks please yeah. don't have I deeply apologize <laughs> uh 
But uh, yeah, with, with the chapter well, now, we do have hookah. Now hookah, I guess mm-hmm. it gets pretty brutal uh, if you're scared of sixteen year old uh, high school girls. Oh yeah, what they- was that about? <laughs> like, see, that's, guess- <laughs> see, that's that's why you don't see me at a lot of those, man, because I I won't be on the receiving end of a serving <laughs> right, right from right. a sixteen year old. Like, yeah, because that, that's I guess <laughs> I guess what happened. Were you familiar with the the story? Of, no, uh, I am all ears for this though. Please. Okay, well, what ha- happened? I guess uh, last week at the Hookah Bazaar open mic, which is run by Nick Taylor. Uh, they, he brought it back. Used to be Joe Young ran that, and it, it was it was it was a fair mic. It was a pretty good mic, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I guess <laughs> I guess being a hookah hookah bar, a lot of high school kids can get in instead of you know because they can't get into a real bar. And I <laughs> I guess there was a 16 year old girl that got on stage at the hookah bazaar last week and just spent you know several minutes roasting. Every older comic in the room, <laughs> just just randomly, and she did it for a high school English project. Nice, so, <laughs> nice. I, I, I'm giving mad respect for that. Well, yeah, if it was it, a good it, roast. Absolutely. Well, I, I've heard it started off funny I mean, because it was more shocking and just wasn't really as funny as it could have been. But it was her first time getting up there, and she's in a room full of adults you know but of course teenagers all they do is talk back to adults anymore well yes that is true she probably just pretended she was talking to her parents or something but yeah i i I don't respect new comics well nor should nor should you (laughs) nor should you so you should you should incorporate some stuff like that into fight club where you just like pick a random guy coming in and say you know just heckle the crap out of him Dude, what? Why? Why do you keep attaching this Fight Club to me, man? I've never heard of this show, man. I, I have no idea what you're talking about. Does Does anybody? Do you know of anybody that knows anything about it? Or yeah, what's the dealio? No one's told me anything. Huh? Weird. Well, I'll have to check my sources and see yeah. because it sounds like. I mean, if we can incorporate some stuff like this, what we could have is like a big wheel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Where you spin and you get just random weird stuff happen during your set, kind kind of distract you. Curveballs per se, something you know, that the comics couldn't even prepare for, way out of bounds. Right. That that way, if a sixteen year old girl got up on stage there, <laughs> oh, she yeah. would be sent home crying. Yeah. Try try that one, sixteen year old girl. <laughs> In high school, but, I'd like to say I sent a lot of sixteen year old girls crying. Well, out of sheer disappointment. Was, yeah, that was years ago. Though, well, yes. like two years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was. <laughs> <laughs> the case been thrown out yet? Yeah, yeah. still got it. <laughs> eh, it's still pending. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I, I heard that the sixteen-year-old girl thing. There, there was uh, there was some uh, some uh, there was some beef on, on Facebook about that because somebody made a joke about it that every yeah, everybody jumped on mm-hmm. and said, "Well, that's inappropriate." It's like to me, if that w- if that was a sixteen-year-old boy. They would have annihilated in that in the, him in that mic. Mm. Somebody would have got up and torn him to pieces mm. verbally. I, I, I can I can kind of agree with that. I think. Yeah. Um, I think boy or girl, if someone hits you, that means <clears throat> the, the, the game's on. <laughs> That's the way I feel. If somebody's going to get up in a room full of people like that 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 you don't know and just start dissing them, well, like not that, people, that comics. Comics. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm like saying. they should have. Yeah. I, I I am of the opinion that they should have took flight on her. I would have let loose, and Absolutely. I wouldn't have spared Absolutely. any expense. Yeah, because hey, you're in here like with comics. Yeah. If you're going to you, you try to play act with like the a big comic, boys, yeah, you're going to you, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I, I sometimes throw a jab at the host to see if I can get something from him. Right, you know, just a little soft, nothing too. Not, I'm not roasting him per se. Well, I I I love the, the comic before you does something like really weird. I love going up and you know, pointing mm-hmm. that out. Oh, I mean, I'm yeah, not yeah, not talking about no, it, but no. at least acknowledging it and making some kind of joke about it. Yeah, a segue right, into your right, set. Right. Exactly. I, I am from the Bernie Mac school of comedy, <laughs> which means I am not afraid of anything that happens on that stage. So, you know, oh, I, I kind of wish I was there. Me too. <laughs> I kind of wish I was I there. I would have loved that. You were Ray Jackson. We're able to get up there after uh, that would have been so that would have been fantastic. I kind of wish I was there, but I <laughs> but I, I but I I am mature enough to recognize why it was a good thing that I wasn't. You know, 
<laughs> I, I just yeah, know yeah. I'm not allowed to tell jokes in front of high school kids. So <laughs> yeah, that's, that's pretty much my stuff. Won't that's float with probably them. fair. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good rule good to live assessment. by. Good assessment. 18 or older, yeah. I, I do wish I could find out more about this comedy fight club, though, because it, it sounds like it'd be really interesting. It does. So, I mean, yeah. I, it's, we'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to dig around, see if, I, we, see if we know anybody knows anything. If, if you know anything about Comedy Fight Club, uh, call in. Area code 937 775 5555. I don't know. Here on the line. There probably won't be anybody calling. So, no, nobody knows anything about it. I've never so, heard of it. Well, I don't. I don't know where I got the information. You know, the Ohio Chiefs, eleven twenty four Leo Street. Sign ups at seven thirty first Wednesday of every month. Is what I have for. So yep. we don't. Okay. Well, uh, moving on. Uh, Jess, do you have any shows coming up? Any- uh, I don't have any shows. So if anyone's listening and looking to book someone, uh, I am willing to. Uh, He's free and right, to his right, offer yeah, right now with a suit and tie. Kind of looks like Rodney Dangerfield. If <laughs> yeah, I tell you what. <laughs> yeah. No respect. <laughs> no respect. None at all. I tell you. Oh. I saw a guy walking naked down the street. I said, "Hey, what are you doing?" He goes, "You came home early." <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So no, uh, that, that's not the kind of jokes I tell, though. Right. But, right. You know, right. Rot- rot- otherwise, we'd know why you aren't getting exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty. Well. No, I. I, uh, I just haven't had the time. I was working on getting a. Uh, a show in April kind of fell through, so I'll see if I can uh, get a venue for April still. I'm still trying to work on something for that, so I'll be looking for some comics. I even brought Stevie Mack out of retirement, oh, one of really, my favorite really. co- comics in the Dayton area. I, yeah, I haven't seen him. Did he actually retire? Because he, he's way too young to retire. <laughs> Steve just had a, uh, he had a, he recently had a kid. I, I think he, that may have uh, yeah been the reason why he. Uh, Kind of like okay, well, yeah, exactly. stepped away for a little that. while. Yeah, he had a yeah. boy, and I think a girl's coming on the way. Yeah, so yeah, it's just so it's, unlike Doug Morgan, who you know decided to spend more time posting things on Facebook, like baby pictures. Oh my God, <laughs> Doug Morgan won't stop about his kid. <laughs> so st- so Steve Mack went the other direction yeah, and exactly. just said, okay. I want these weirdos away from my child. Right. It's <laughs> like, we get it, Doug. Somebody w- was willing to sleep with you. Great. <laughs> yep. yep, at least once. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Yep, yep. good job. He Everything w- worked. He won't stop showing us that yep. receipt, yeah. though, will he? <laughs> <laughs> I ate at Morton uh, Steakhouse once. <laughs> uh, 13% I'm- tip. <laughs> I love Doug. He's so fun to mess with. <laughs> oh, uh-oh, you just I'm throwing wow, my phone at man. God. Sorry about that, folks. Man. I might have just it's took us off button. the air. Yeah, that's that's a good that's probably for the best. Do you see what that message says? Is some- <laughs> <laughs> so what are you planning on huh, doing this week? Uh, so is it just silence is what we got over the air or are they telling us to shut up? No, no, no. That's he 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 can't hear anything. He was saying that he's trying to listen and he huh. huh well maybe we're having a good conversation so now is he trying to listen online or is he trying to listen because the online might be down uh yeah i think he's trying to listen yeah, online. website might be down because yeah. we've been having all kinds of problems uh apparent apparently uh, uh patrick if you're listening uh get your, <laughs> get your <laughs> butt in here and, Sorry. and uh and and fix this place because you know we can't we can't have this Anyway, well, anybody that does miss the show that, of course, isn't hearing this now, uh, listen in. <laughs> uh, you, you can catch it later on as the podcast version, but if you could hear this, you wouldn't need to, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, all the links to my podcast are on the life1069.com or donsmithcomedy.com. Either one, either one will get you there because I'm cheap and I just have the one website. And, and, and it's very poorly put together because I did it myself. <laughs> but there are a bunch of links there, so you can actually get to a professional site that has my, you know, like iTunes and Podbean and all the, you know, even even Tide Entertainment has feeds for it. So uh, yeah. if you if you aren't hearing this, that's where you go. And I tip- hear this. I later typically on. listen to it every other week. I don't catch every episode, but I try to catch them when I can, especially when I know some of the local comics that are on and it's a good listen i mean it's two an hour two hours typically depending on how he splits the shows and is, is it weird to promote my show on my show i don't know but <laughs> <laughs> it's just it, 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 it's funny it, 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 if you had a two-hour drive like i go to cleveland uh 
I go to Columbus. I go to different areas. So you need something to listen to. AM, uh, AM, like the long AM channels I can get are just awful out of Cleveland. So it's good yeah. to have the podcast. Yeah. It's good well, to yeah, you, it's it's this or uh, or conservative talk radio. It's, oh. <laughs> it's the only two choices oh. that you have for listening. You must and, choose. Yes, it's me or Rush Limbaugh. Who's it going to be? <clears throat> Is he, even, is he even still doing radio shows? D- Diddlehead, he's around. <laughs> is he around? <laughs> yeah, he's probably doing something. Exclusively yeah, on I'm the sure EIB. I'm sure he is. He's, he's, he just doesn't go away. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, rush. Uh, Ugh. Well, we need to do the comedy rundown for the week and go ahead and take a little break here. Let me, uh, before we get started, let me go ahead and find some, find some tunes I want to play. Uh, I'm guessing it's probably going to be uh, some... Uh, potter's field it's my guess <laughs> let me put my surprise but, but face no, on let, let, let me do I'll, I'll do some saint mary saint michael we'll oh. change it up a little bit. uh anyway here's uh, this week's comedy rundown brought to you by the legendary wiley's comedy club at 101 pine street in downtown dayton's historic oregon district call 224 joke or go to wiley's comedy.com for all the best in dayton comedy thursday march 1st open mic at the hookah bazaar at 958 patterson road in dayton that show starts at 10 p.m if you want stage time so you can be made fun of by a 16 year old girl you can start <laughs> sign up at 9 30 uh, thursday through sunday march 1st through the 4th uh, rick, Gu- rick gutierrez is going to be at the dayton funny bone at 88 plum street of the green uh rick actually used to tour with gabriel iglesias uh huh. very very intense guy very funny guy he's got a netflix special out uh right now i believe it's called i'm not angry i'm a parent uh, check that out. Get out the funny bone. Check him out. Re- really funny guy. Uh, Friday, March 2nd, uh, comedy showcase at Wiley's Comedy Club at 101 Pine Street in the Oregon District. I uh, can't remember who all is on there. I think Ray Jackson's on that one. Are you on that one, Nate? No, I'm okay. not doing that one. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, I, ca- I can't remember who all is on that one. <coughs> I think Michael Wells. Moving on. Uh, Saturday, March 3rd, uh, Little Robert Showcase at the Dayton Taste, Dayton Taste at 2555 Shiloh Springs Road in Trotwood, Ohio. That show starts at 8 p.m. Also on Saturday, uh, March 3rd, Sean Latham is going to be at Wiley's Comedy Club. Uh, Sunday the 4th, Wiley's Comedy's, Wiley's Sunday Comics is back at Wiley's Comedy Club. That show starts at 8 p.m., uh, followed by the Heavy Metal Comedy Show at Blind Bob's at 430 East 5th Street in Dayton. That is it. I do want to mention again uh, the March first, March 15th. I cannot talk today. March 15th, first ever Life Radio Show presents with local favorite Adrian Cosby headlining. As always, check out Wiley'sComedy.com, DaytonFunnyBone.com for details and tickets to upcoming shows. And we're going to take a little break. Be back here shortly. Here's a little uh, St. Mary's, St. Michael. Uh, We'll do uh, Neat. Neat. I almost had it all, and I lost everything. All that's left to me is my name But I don't want your pity The only thing I need Is to drown my sorrows and pain So bartender, you asked me What I'd like to drink Well, it's been a long day And I can hardly think And life is such a mess you're asking me, well, I'll take my whiskey. The last one that we pulled, then we'd all go clean. But then I saw them gun him down. Don't ask me what I mean. Don't say anything, just pour me another round. So bartender, you ask me about my drink of choice. Well, I don't want anything to water down my voice. Now my life is such a mess. So maybe what I need is to take my way. It's my fault, maybe I brought it on myself Now this glass is my only friend I'm 
drinking till I'm numb And I still hurt like hell Just keep pouring until I say when Oh, bartender, you ask me what I'd like to drink Well, it's been a long day and I can hardly think My life is such a mess So maybe what I need is to take my whiskey So I'll take my whiskey Yeah, I'll take my If there's one thing that's true about wrestling fans, it's how much they like to talk about wrestling. Join Aaron Lopez and Ben Norsworthy for the Top Rope Wrestling Podcast. Uh, Let's get ready to rumble! Tune in every episode and be ringside as these two break down all of the big matches in the world of professional wrestling. Brought to you by Eventide Entertainment. Pointed sticks! Oh, 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 we want to learn how to defend ourselves against pointed sticks, do we? Getting all iron mighty, eh? Fresh fruit not good enough for you, eh? Oh, 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 well, I'll tell you something, my lad. When you're all walking home tonight and some other cycle maniac comes after you, but a bunch of Logan Brees don't come cry to me! <laughs> is that what that is? All right, we are back on the Life uh, Radio Show. I'm your host, Don Smith. Uh, sitting in the studio, Nate Washington, my guest co-host for the day. Uh, Jess Cordry had to uh, had to run down to the facilities. Uh, he may be a little while. We're not. We're <laughs> never. We're never sure. <laughs> but uh, uh, we're 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 going to keep things running for for the in the meantime. Uh, do you have? Do you have? Did you have some uh, some sponsors you want you wanted to talk about for? Uh, oh yeah, coffee shows for Lori Graves and the majestic the majestic theater, theater yeah. yeah uh vince morris the vince morris return show oh wow that's okay. gonna be uh march 31st at the majestic theater in chillicothe ohio um one of my favorite places to perform uh this is actually gonna be my second time doing the theater so uh i can't wait it's uh it's a beautiful theater it's haunted is what it's haunted that that's what they is say that why it's majestic i think so it's it's full of like uh Oh, we, you know, we like got we got a phone call coming in, ghouls. so uh, let, let's see what we got on the phone here. We'll we'll get right back to that. This is the life. You're on the air. Hey, uh, yes. Hey, I had a couple questions uh, about this comedy fight club. If that's okay. A uh, comedy comedy fight club. Okay. Uh, I I can give you what it, what information I have. Uh, what 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 would you like to know about it? Uh, can anybody fight at the fight club? Can anybody fight at the fight club? I know. Na- there is no Fight Club. I, uh, I, I don't, I don't know what this is about. I've never heard of a comedy Fight Club. Then where, where do I, where do I get? Well, this is this is somebody. This isn't me asking now. This is somebody else that has some information about it. That's asking about yeah, it. I'm that's interesting. I'm, I'm out of town. I'm having stuff on the street. Um, what, what happens if you get beat up at the Fight Club? Dude, uh, would somebody get beat up at the Fight Club, or is? No. I, 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 I have no idea what, what this uh, fight nope. club is. I, I can't okay. say I've, I've, I've even heard of this. Huh. Well, that, that's, that's, that's that's another uh, – Did anything else? Uh, yeah, I mean, it sounds like – well, I don't know. Uh, what will happen if you don't move into a house? I mean, can we move it and make homemade stuff together? What do you think about that, right? Anything? Did you? Can we move into a house and make homemade soap together? Is that what you said? That's, yeah, you know what I mean, Mike. That's wh- where. Where are you uh, calling from? I'm in Huber Heights right now. Huber yeah. Heights. No. Well, thank Huber, you for tuning in. Huber, <laughs> Huber Heights, Australia. Is a, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, yep, there. <laughs> they hung up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's I, we weird. must uh, upset him. <laughs> no, that was weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, these uh, these things happen. You never know what's gonna. Well, uh, Huber Heights, Australia. That's I right. Never the down under what, side. Yeah. Of Huber Heights. Well, I knew most of Huber Heights was down under. I just didn't know, or at least down. <laughs> oh, there, there's Jess. He's back. Could you uh, everything everything work out? Uh, it was better than the time I took one in South Africa. 
Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> have you ever heard of Huber Heights, uh, Australia? <laughs> no, I have I've never not. Heard of Huber Heights, Australia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, uh, uh, real quick before we before we get too far off, because you know how we do <laughs> on the life. Let me let me uh, let me shout out a couple people real quick who are right. helping to bring. Uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Vince Morris, and myself back to uh, Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, let's shout out Cranion Fire Protection. They are one of our sponsors for the show. Thank you very much for uh, helping to make this show possible. Uh, Sinfully Tan, they are at 643 Central Center in Chillicothe. I might go there before the show well, yeah, to get you, a little you base. Little, you're looking a little you know, pale. I, yeah. I kind of feel pale, so I'm going to give me a little base coat laid down at Sinfully Tan before the night of the show. Um, you know, just because I like to feel bronze, you know oh, what yeah. I mean? I like to feel a little yeah. brown. Well, yeah, and it makes you feel a little more special. Too. That's right. I do feel special when I when I go to the tanning bed. We've uh, got another phone call coming in. Nice. So, yeah, we got nice. Let's let's see who we got on <coughs> here. Cool. Uh, WWSU, you're on the air. Hey, I'm calling in. I'm trying to get some information on what may or may not be a comedy show going on. It's some type of fight club that I may or may not be talking about right now. It depends. <laughs> so you you may not be talking about it either. I, I may not be talking about it right now. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, did you did you or did you not want to know something about it? I, I want to do... know something about it, or... but I'm not going to tell anybody that I know anything <laughs> about it. How about that? That's... that's... That seems to be going around. We're kind of in a box you know, here, yeah, folks. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, the guy I, I got know. us in a box. <laughs> I know absolutely nothing about it. Like so, uh, Nate's got this, nothing. I've I've got some kind of secondhand information. I don't know. I don't know what of it's true. I, I can't get anything uh, verified. And I don't even know what I had for right. breakfast this morning. I apologize. Hey, this is closer than I was five minutes ago. I'm, I'm moving. I'm getting hot. <laughs> okay. Okay. You well, you might see. be on the trail of finding out this comedy fight club, man. Like if it's a real thing, it, it, it would definitely be be the bomb. I think it would be something definitely uh, that the city could use. Yeah, but, it would sound sounds like it would be great if it, if it exists. Uh, right. If, uh, let's say perchance if this place where this comedy fight club did take place or it did happen, where would it happen at if it were to happen? Hmm. I'd say. I, I'd say if it were to happen, Ohio Chiefs would be the a great place for it. That's uh, eleven twenty four okay. Leo Street. That, 11, that, that sounds like it would be a good. I, I know about Ohio Chiefs. That's my spot. I hang out there it? all the time. Yeah. 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 Well, wouldn't that be a great place for it? For what? I heard about that place. I heard about <laughs> that place. Ohio Chiefs is a real place. Okay. Okay. All right. I need to be there. You should, man. Uh, yeah. It, it might be uh, the first Wednesday of every month. If it was a real thing. If, if it was going to happen. <laughs> That's a big if. And, and if it was to happen. I'd say another hypothetical. If we if there was going to be one on March 7th, Jay Snyder may or may not be headlining. Who? Okay. Jason, Jason, well, it may or may not be Jason. Yeah, I don't, we don't have a clue. I'm not even sure if I've heard of him at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I've smelled it once. <laughs> you smell they it are, once. There so are unknown knowns and unknown yeah. unknowns. <laughs> well, we need to be concerned about the things we know we don't know. Mm -hmm. These wow. are things we that don't know that we don't know. But. Like, I tell you what I do know. I know I've never heard of this thing that you guys are talking about. I don't. Apparently, this it's it's just new to me. Yeah, it's it's like, like hey, a actually, myth. Really, what happened? I might have had a dream last night, and I'm trying to bring it to fruition. And when I'm talking to you guys about it. You can fill me in about what I had in my dream last night because I think y'all was there. Yeah, nope. might have been at Chiefs, Ohio Chiefs. No, nope. uh. Fight Club for comedy. Nope, that was just that, sir. It was a dream. You are yeah. losing your mind. <laughs> yeah, most it was just a dream. If I'm in someone's sleep, it's normally a nightmare or a <laughs> conviction, <laughs> right. a you, felony. <laughs> you can't see who I'm here with. So yeah, well, yeah. he dreamed There's you were Rodney a nightmare. Dangerfield, actually. So. <laughs> No, <laughs> fight comedy fight club. Never heard of it. Okay, okay. Never well, uh, I, I appreciate the call. Thanks if, for calling. If, if you find anything else out, uh, be sure to let me know or don't. I will. <laughs> I will not let any of you know anything because I don't know anything. But I will be there on March seventh. 
I will be nowhere. I will be there, yeah. but I won't be anywhere at hey, the same time. I don't know. Find that out. I, I would say, I would say, be there just in case something happens. In case there is a fight right. club, just and then case. you might be able to see somebody get punched in the face. Because right. I'd hate to miss it if it happened. Yeah, I know. It sounds like it'd be <laughs> awesome. So, like, maybe just go down to Ohio Chiefs on March seventh, just in case. Right at seven thirty, something right. happens. Yeah, just because you did it. Yeah, but yeah. never tell anyone you were there. Right, right, because that's I wouldn't. That's pro- that would probably be the first <laughs> yeah. rule of it would be to not talk about it. I wouldn't want anybody to tell it, tell anybody about it. I'm, I'm just going to grab some people and have them come with me, just in case. Well, yeah, if yeah. nothing going to happen. I'm going to have some friends with me, and we're going to go and make sure nothing happens. Right, because if there is a fight club, you're going to want backup. Yeah, I know I'm going to need backup because right. I can't right. fight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the second thing, I, I probably wouldn't talk about it. <laughs> talk about, talk about what? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Good call. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thanks, true. thanks for calling in. Again, if uh, if you find anything else out about it, uh, try to get people in March 7th to, just in case it happens. Yeah, I'm going to get as many people as I can March 7th in case it's a riot of comedy <laughs> that won't happen. Mm-mm. Right. <laughs> Nope. Right. Can't happen. No not, such thing. Not possible. No such thing. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. I, Thank you. Thank you know you. what? Thanks for calling in, sir. Drive carefully. Please no stop problem. back again. <laughs> I, I tell you what I can talk about. What can you talk about? I could talk about Shauna Detillion at Rise Realty in Chillicothe because she's ah. one of the sponsors for the Majestic Comedy Show with Vince See, right Morris. right back to it. That's what That's makes right, you a professional, man. Nate. That's right, man. <laughs> I can get weave in and out, man. Weave in and out. So thank you for supporting the show, Shauna. We will, I, you know what? I'm going to right now on the life personally guarantee you that you'll have a good time that night. Right now, I'm going to say it. Shauna, you are going to have a time of your life at the Majestic Theater on March 31st. I guarantee it. How about All that? Right. All, All right. right. There you time of your life. Patrick Swayze song. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're, you're never going to feel this way again. You know, <laughs> yes, you swear. Yeah, I swear. <laughs> it's the truth, Shauna. All right, <laughs> and I'll do it all for you. See, I was, I was I... getting, I missed that because I was getting a message from oh. the uh, our technician here at the studio to tell me that the problems we're having with it can't be fixed. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Patrick. Uh, <laughs> nice, uh, fantastic, <laughs> excellent work. <laughs> yeah, yeah, couldn't do it without you. Uh, <laughs> Could not. <laughs> Uh, just We're good. messing with you, Patrick. You're all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, should we hit some? Let's hit some news, news. stories. Yeah. Let's hit some news stories news. here. This, yes. this first one, I've really been, I've really been, uh, I've really been buzzing. This this one, I've, I've heard, I'd heard a big buzz about this, and I've been really itching to get to it. Uh, an adult entertainment company has come out with a new sex toy that's really saucy. A vibrator that orders pizza after you orgasm. Nice. Yes. On Thursday morning, adult entertainment company Camsoda introduced the, quote, Rub Grub, (laughs) an interactive vibrator that orders food after you're done using it for its original purpose. According to a press release, the Diddle and Dine device uh, comes with an Internet-connected button on one end that's similar to the button on an Amazon Dash wand, which already sounds like a sex toy. Uh, <laughs> once a person programs their payment, delivery, and order information, the Rub Grub con- <laughs> connects to your local pizza place through its application programming interface, uh, which is how two pieces... Uh, you don't need to know all that. So whenever a person is done pleasuring themselves, they can order a pizza just by pushing a button. Because usually that's what I'm thinking of, is I need a pizza. That's <laughs> dumb. Now, uh, the vibrator... Yeah. <laughs> This is not fake news. Uh, the, the The vibrator will only be connected to Domino's at first. Uh, but Camso to Vice you. President Darren Parker predicts that other national change will jump on this project product product once they sense the buzz. So uh, that's uh, <laughs> you know what? Who wants Domino's after that? Exactly. Like, it's, you it's, know? Uh, can't you get? And why would Domino's say yep? You are, right. because you know they had to step up for sponsorship for that and say they want to be the first one connected to your We vibrator. want to be the one to bring you the pizza. Well, if, if we want to see your vi- face afterwards. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. You ordered from the rub grub, didn't we you? We want to look <laughs> you in the eye when you're done. 
In all honesty, they, they, their their base is the single lonely fat girl <laughs> on a Saturday night yeah, going it's out. The, it's the so only they person figure, you know, still it, eating Domino's. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's who's eating the Domino's. <laughs> it, you know, so they're sitting there, damn, buzzing yeah. up, oh, double pepperoni, yeah. sausage, <laughs> sausage. You can just see that easily happening, you know, or no green peppers. I mean, just, uh, I mean there's all kinds well, of I'd different. imagine you'd have to have the whole order programmed in already. Oh, you Because there's well, just one button. It's not like you're texting. Well, that's you a know, good point. Egg, egg, you took the whole fantasy out yes. of that. Egg, eggplant is a good pizza topping, I hear. Really? Yeah, eggplant. I'll, I'll, program, uh, I'll program that into my rub Good pizza grub. topping. <laughs> For your rub grub. <laughs> <laughs> Extra eggplant, please. <laughs> I think he's taking deliveries for fat girls. Yes. <laughs> lonely fat girls are lonely no more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, that's yeah, that's that's, that's, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, that's because I mean it's it's one button on the bottom of it. How do you keep from hitting that multiple times exactly. in, the th- in the throes of passion? Yeah, you, you before you know Especially it, you, you got throws. nineteen <laughs> pieces stacked up on the porch. <laughs> You know, yeah. man, it's a good night. Batteries are dead. Yeah. You know, you got all this pizza to eat now. Yeah. Oh, man, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> and it's Domino's. <laughs> oh, and if it connects to the Internet, uh, what's to say it's not sending other things out? Right. Because, I mean, can, can you sync it to your Facebook? <laughs> can you hook it up to your Alexa? Right, right. Yeah. right. Hey, Alexa. Yeah. I mean, no, no, no. It just brings my and mind to And if you did hook your vibrator up to your Alexa, would that make you a lesbian? It would make you, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Now, My mind it, boggles over that. I hear there's these free porn sites. Now, does this become one of those sections, girls that do that, then get a pizza delivered, filmed to themselves? Yeah, well, I'm just thinking of the 70s pornos where it's always a pizza delivery guy. Oh, yeah. You know, and you got that boom, chica, boom, mm-hmm. in the background. Yeah, yeah that's, they yeah. have to play that. Runner. That has to be like like an ice cream truck. They just broadcast that from the Domino's yeah. car. They now. play yeah the theme song the shaft. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The theme yeah. song the shaft. When yeah, you hear when you hear that, you know Somebody the pizza is on the way. Somebody got a pizza. Somebody got a pizza and a man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from one pie to another. <laughs> 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 We are officially now off the rails yeah. again yeah. on the life. Uh, what else right. we got? We're going br- we to bring us back on the Let's r- bring it back. What else we got? Come on. <laughs> Speaking of getting the munchies. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> as more states legalize marijuana, a certain percentage of the population is interested in joining the fund, but they are not sure how to purchase pot from a legal dispensary. Mm. A San Diego-based rapper is helping it to weed out any concerns. MC Flo, a medical marijuana user since 2009, has just released Welcome to the Dispensary, a, hum- a hummable how-to that explains the process of purchasing legal cannabis. Uh, some it's- of her roach-clip-riddled rhymes include walls and walls of green bl- buds, jugs full of flour, indicas for indicouch, sativas for the power. Uh, bow to the bud tender because he's paid by the hour as your concierge of cannab- cannabis with OG Sour. Mm. Uh, Flo, her real name, mm-hmm. Abby Dorsey, recorded the video Recorded a video uh, at Urban Leaf, a dispensary in San Diego. So Abby in case Dorsey. You, uh... So now what we need is we need a bong mm-hmm. with a button that connects to the internet yes. to order pizza. <laughs> and, your vibrator. That's right. <laughs> and that's got to go to Pizza Hut. This too, domino sucks. <laughs> this too is the subject I know nothing about. I told you I just lost the job. Right. Well, yeah, yeah. Over you know, uh, uh, don't talk about Fight Club or weed. Yeah. I, well, I talk about plenty of it now because. Well, yeah, because you're, you're unemployed. So, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Abby, uh, you said sour. Um, no. Okay. I'm all for anything that gets you high. Yeah, you know yeah. anything? anything? Just well, just well, not anything. Yeah. But you Wait, know, you're you know on your what? lunch break. <laughs> that, that, that makes me think about a valid point. Like, why do we, why do we humorize addiction so much? Like coffee addiction. We make a joke about coffee addiction, and like it's probably more addictive than 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 any other substance out there. But I the thing quit. is, I can quit at any time I want. Nate. No, you can't. You can't. <laughs> and we use coffee 
we use it to justify like being a jerk to people in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, oh, I haven't had my coffee yet. I'm gonna do that. So pardon me if I talk to you any kind of way. It's I don't I don't use that to justify. I'm just a jerk in the morning. Is that what yeah, it is? Right, well, see, yeah. that's good. You know, I think what it is. <laughs> the only reason why we 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 humorize it is because it's not cute. You know, to wear a T-shirt in the morning that says "Not till I've had my heroin." <laughs> You know what I mean? I want one of those, actually. Yeah, I, we should. Yeah, those are coming soon, actually. Yeah, and actually, we they, get those. from yeah. all the research I've seen, is cannabis is so not so not a big addictive drug. Mm-hmm. It actually has so many more health benefits that I mean, I'm just very pro cannabis. I mean, yeah. think about it. I yeah. just lost a job for something like that I could do in Denver. Right, free and clear, right. and not worry about. It. Yeah, exactly. Or California, you know what I mean? Like here so, in Ohio, once in. 2018 when they get their legit well this year when they get the logistics figured out you can get a card that's exactly hey, you get to smoke weed exactly or well not smoke weed but gummies or different well, yeah. juices and whatnot right but that's oh we got another call we got another call man we are we are busy today here on, 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 life. The, on yeah, the life let's see who we got here uh this is life you're on the air hey 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 how's it going everybody hello all right all right how you doing i'm pretty good my name is pitch Pitch. 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 Hey, how you pitch doing, Pitch? Waverly. Is that, <laughs> what, what was it? it just, I, caught, I caught three pitches in there. Yeah, my name is Pitch Waverly, but my good friends call me Rip. Rip. Like Rip Grimes. Rip Grimes off Walking Dead. Rip <laughs> 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 That makes but they sense. They call you Rick. Okay. I how you doing? Rip. That's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like Rip Grimes, Walking Dead. But anyway, I was calling because my wife, she said that Brad Pitt is going to be telling jokes in Ohio next week. Is that true? (laughs) 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 What? I think we can neither confirm nor deny. Definitely neither confirm or deny. Yeah, it's it's, we've heard rumors about a sort of fight club-ish Kind of a comedy ish uh, show that yeah, may or Brad may not Pitt. happen. That's Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, Brad, Brad Pitch. Brad Pitch. Oh, that's. Th- oh, Brad Pitch. I know Brad Pitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, okay. Uh, he, used to, yeah. he used to date that big girl. Her name was uh, Angelina Swoley, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah. Okay. I do know that guy. That's a sexy guy. That's a sexy guy right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I I was not. I aware remember of that it, guy. Uh, yeah. So Nate Nate knows Brad Pitch. I don't. I've I've not heard of him. I can neither confirm or deny. Hey, you can neither you know, confirm yes. or deny. So okay. Okay. <laughs> that would be dope if Brad Pitt d- did comedy though. <laughs> well, was that all you needed to know? Is uh, where it may or may not be, or uh, what may or may not hey, be? My happening? wife. My wife. She just keep begging me. Take me to see Brad Pitt. Tell jokes next week at the club where they're going to be fighting. I said, hey, I yeah, don't know. Yeah, sometimes people fight in the club. I might not be able to get out of work. Okay, well, if all else fails, you can always order the Rub Grub from Cam Soda, and she'll be happy with the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been listening. I need, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, every married man does. That's really, that's really something that, that's <laughs> Yeah, man. Oh. That's cool. Thanks for calling, sir. Yeah, thanks for calling. Hey, I appreciate it. Hey, no. Call me Rip. you my guys now. You can call me Rip. All right, right Rip. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Rip's guy. That's huge. Yeah, that Put that on a resume. <laughs> Said Brad Pitt was coming to do jokes in lovely Dayton, Ohio. Mm. All right. Well, it's getting close to the top of the hour, so I'll, I'll let uh, Jess, because uh, Nate's sticking around. He's guest yep. co-hosting for the whole show, and I'll let uh, Jess, if you have anything, any any shows that aren't going on that you, <laughs> that you can't talk about, uh, let us know, or if you have social media or anything like that. Or- oh, yeah, just follow me, Jester00 on Twitter. I typically don't post anything on there, but I'm always a good follow. <laughs> uh, right now, I'm sweating like a pregnant nun. I don't know why they turn off the air conditioning in this. Uh... <laughs> well, it's, it's it's actually it's the time of year here at Wright uh, State. Plus, it's uh, they're actually doing maintenance on them right now. Uh, I God. used to work in the HVAC department here, so oh uh, yeah, you would. Know so that. yeah, they, that's that's why it's 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 a little toasty in here. <laughs> and we're both well, we're both big guys. We're both sweating. Oh yeah, I'm good. I sweat yeah. when I eat. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I sweat when I 
look at things, just oh. anything. I basically just sweat. That's all I do. I, I understand that feeling. You know, I've permanently stained shirts. But wait, that's beside <laughs> the point. Uh, yeah, yeah, come see me uh, nowhere, but uh, I'm sure I'll be getting picked up for some gigs here shortly. Uh, again, I work for Heron Entertainment. If you want to contact me through uh, Facebook, Jess Quartery the third, or contact my agent, HeronEntertainment.com. You, sh- you should go down to, to the Ohio Chiefs and see if there's anything going on down there. Yeah, yeah, I've heard that there may that it might not. What, what was that date um, and what was that possible night? Uh, March seventh. Okay. Se- sign ups are at seven thirty. If you, uh, if if it happens, if because there's something, you know, there may be. A, I guess there's a fight or something or. Uh, yeah, so, so you're probably know, gonna have going if, if it was the, to happen, the, you'd have to have some pretty thick skin. Oh, right, yeah. right. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because you know, it's, it sounds like it sounds like it'd be a brutal fight. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Too All bad right. that's not. It's, it was a good thing that's not a real thing, right? It sounds, that would, yeah, that would sounds be dangerous. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It sounds absolutely, like you cause... could like really get like roughed up in a place like that. Like, well, oh, at the yeah. very least, you get your little feelings hurt. Oh yeah, that's you know, you like taking fat ranch off a of fat girl. Mm. <laughs> Nothing good can come out of it. No, no, <laughs> no. Or, or are you taking the hot sauce out of like Hillary's bag? <laughs> that's... <laughs> That's dangerous too, you know. Hillary go everywhere with that hot sauce. Oh yeah, sauce, absolutely, man, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> well, she's, she's known for that. Everybody, that, yeah, clearly everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> Her and Beyonce, hot right. sauce in the bag. It was only two. Take it to the bank. Yep. Mm-hmm. yep. Take it to the bank. Yep. Don't what? don't know how she didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, on that note, we're going to take a little break. Uh, play some. Uh, we'll do our top of the hour. Uh, playing of a whole bunch of ads and we will be back here shortly thanks for listening to the life podcast check us out on eventide entertainment's podcast network remember if you want to listen live we're on wednesdays from noon to 2 p.m on wwsu 106.9 fm or you can always stream the show live at wwsu1069.org If you have suggestions or comments for the show, feel free to email us at thelife1069 at gmail.com. The brutal presence overwhelms me. The brutal presence... Well, yeah, you, it's it's this or uh, or conservative talk radio. It's, oh. <laughs> it's the only two choices oh. that you have for listening. You must and, choose. Yes, it's me or Rush Limbaugh. Who's it going to be? 